here we are dealing with inflow and outflow. That's the logic, am I right? How much the initial investment? Initial investment is equal to our outflow of cash. Total outflow of cash, how much you know? 270 lakhs, am I right? Zoom students also can press on. Okay? Total outflow comes to 270 lakhs. Whereas info comes, inflow comes to how much? Influence this question 42 lakhs. That is per annum. Am I right? Whereas here total outflow 270 lakhs. Each and every year we are getting inflow of 42 lakhs. Am I right? 42 lakhs per annum. That is the what is the percentage? 14 percentage. Like interest is 42 lakhs. 14 percent is the rate of interest. We can find out the principal. Therefore, what will be the total? 300. 300 is the inflow. Inflow minus outflow is equal to how much? 30 lakhs. 30 lakhs. This is 300 lakhs. Am I right? What is that called? Base case. Yeah. Base case. Present value is equal to 270 lakhs. Monoka understood or not? 30. Uh, 30 lakhs is the base case present value. Out of which issuing expenses will be there. What about the cost of issue? 10 lakhs. 10 lakhs gone for issuing expenses. And we are getting some tax benefit also. So, base case is what? Inflow or outflow for you? It's a net inflow, inflow. am I right? It's an inflow only. Whereas cost is the outflow. outflow for you. Understood or not? Then we have to adjustment for what? Tax benefit. Tax benefit. Okay. With respect to tax benefit, add tax benefit. Tax benefit is the savings or inflow for us. Am I right? With respect to tax benefit, initial investment 270 lakhs. Cost of an issue, 10 lakhs. Therefore, total comes to 280 lakhs. So, if I am going to get the loan, I need what? 280 lakhs. Am I right? That's called debt fund or loan fund required. In that fund, tax benefit will be there. Am I right? Tax benefit is how much percentage? 30 or 40. 30 percent or 40 percent? 30 percentage. So, debt fund into tax percentage, the tax shield. How much the tax shield? 84 lakhs the tax shield for you. Understood? So, inflow 30 lakhs is also benefit for us, therefore it's also inflow 84 lakhs, whereas cost comes to cash outflow, that's the 10 lakhs. Therefore, net to comes to how much? 30 plus 84 minus 10 is equal to 1 or 4 lakhs. What is it called? 1 or 4 lakhs? Adjusted present value of investment. Vijay, understood? Adjusted present value of investment. You can apply the same format as it is. Okay? One more requirement is also there. Okay? The next requirement is what is the next one? Discount. Adjusted discount rate they asked. Marich? Adjusted discount rate. It leads to inflow is equal to outflow. In which rate? It leads to net present value is equal to zero. It's similar to what? IRR concept. Yeah. Am I right or not? So, inflow and outflow, when it is going to match, where it is going to match, that rate we need. For that purpose, our outflow should equal to inflow. Am I right or not? 
how much outflow we got? Initial investment is the outflow. 270 lakhs plus cost of an issue 10 lakhs totally 280 lakhs amount of debt fund you need loan you need outflow that should equal to inflow whereas how much the adjusted present value you got it okay adjusted present value 104 lakhs so balance is equal to how much 170 lakhs are with me or not so the 176 lakhs is the total amount i need marich how much return here given in this percentage 14 percent we are going to get therefore how much i need 14 percentage on 170 lakhs is equal to 20 24 lakhs 60 or 64 24 lakhs 64,000 average so 24 lakh 64,000 I need but adjusted discount rate you have to express in terms of percentage out of how many lakhs 280 lakh average out of 280 lakhs I need this much therefore multiply with 100 24 lakh 64,000 put away 280 280 lakhs into 100 is equal to 8.80 percent is equal to what? Is called what? Adjusted discount rate is equal to 8.8 percentage. All of you understood? Now it's comfortable. Good.